Welcome to The Point of View. This is your favorite current affair show on television here on City TV. On The Point of View, we pick the right topics, we get the right guests, we ask them all the relevant questions on issues that matter to you. We're live tonight reflecting on Accra 2023, Ghana's successful hosting of the African Games. We're privileged to have some very important people in studio to talk to us about the Games. The man who chaired the local organizing committee has joined us here as well as the man who leads Ghana Athletics. So it's going to be quite an interesting conversation. We'll look at the, the facilities and the legacy. We'll also look at some of the athletes and the performances. And more importantly, where does this leave Ghana in terms of athletics for the next few years? Stay with us. I love person and charcoal. Why? When there are so many other charcoal toothpaste. That's both charcoal and lemon. Oh, does it? Yes. Look right here. Yes. Pepsin and charcoal has two of nature's powerful whitening ingredients. With the power of activated charcoal and lemon essence, it removes stains and whitens teeth naturally. Convinced? Well, I am. Just look at your beautiful Pepsin and smells. Mm -hmm. For naturally whiter teeth, Pepsin and charcoal. Pepsodent. Welcome back. So tonight we're talking to Dr. Kweku Fusua Sari, who chaired the local organizing committee. The tournament is over, but he's still dressed for the tournament. <laughs> good to see you, Kweku. Welcome. Thanks very much, Bernard, and uh, uh, good to see you again. For somebody who's <laughs> organized this big event, you still look very fresh. Aye. Usually you should be tired sleeping on some pillow. You look okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Baba Fuseni is a, a, a national champion in many events, but he's also the uh, president of Ghana Athletics. Baba, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Bernard. This is my first time on this on show. this show, yeah. and I know a lot of people with this show. I usually, of course, I saw you running, but I've never really seen you in suit. But this weekend, you were very diplomatic, <laughs> very, very powerful <laughs> suit. <laughs> you move from <laughs> athletics performance to athletics <laughs> governance <laughs> in a very powerful way. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Bernard. And then, uh, viewers, I, I wanted an athlete to represent the games, and because on Friday I was there. I had to go for Evans Kadman Jamwa because of the way he won the high jump yeah. and the way he lifted the stadium. I mean, and funny enough, his 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 medal ceremony was the last for the league. Yeah. 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 People waited for him. <laughs> for him. You know, so I, I spoke to him earlier and I'll show you that. But quick, quick, let me just come to you. I remember you, you started, okay, when were you given this job to organize this? Just walk me through how long this has been in the works. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Bernard, for... Uh, the opportunity and for this question in particular, I mm. mean, uh, we got inaugurated on the um, 20th of uh, October, on the 12th of October, I should say, mm -hmm. 2021. Wow. When the, it was then the minister, um, Isiamas, minister Isiamas. Of, uh, Isiamas era, so he put the team together and then uh, we got inaugurated by His Excellency. Um, Nanado mm. Danko Kufuado. And he said, well, we're, we're then um, a nine member uh, committee mm. and we're charged with the responsibility uh, to organize and host the African Games. And uh, initially he also said, oh, we should make sure that we host the Games and win more medals. <laughs> and then also make sure that we transform the facilities mm. that will be built at Bortiman into an invasive sport. All of that in yes. the first place. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we started wow. and uh, it was difficult simply because Ghana, as we are all aware, has mm. not hosted the African Games before. So they were uh, comparing that to the uh, can 2008, so everything was around can 2008, mm. and we got it wrong from the start. Why do I say so? When you are hosting the games, the LOC mm. is put together and it's an, uh, enacted, and the LOC is given the opportunity, and you are given the budget, it's ring fenced, and you perform. 
Then at the end of it all, you, you, you render an account. Mm -hmm. a, 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 a colleague who, who came from Malawi, they had a tournament, some said, well, everything was enacted by parliament. After that, you appear before parliament, you defend your budget and everything. Ours was not like that. Mm. It's not been like that. It is not that we wanted to be extremely autonomous, but we are tied to the aprons of the Ministry of Human Force. So it also posed a lot of challenges. So there us. was no specific law yeah. setting Still, you up. And that is where we got it wrong. So you were, you were then working as an LOC, but there's a Ministry of Sports Post, supervising. Oh, there's yeah. athletics there's, people there. Everything has to go. Was there a the budget up in issue? Uh, no. Oh, my God. And so those people, people who have uh, experienced this, they were surprised. Mm. And when they come and they, I give you an example. Nigeria, the colleagues from Nigeria said, "No, no, 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 no." Nigeria, 2003, the LOC chairman, the old, everything was LOC. You do it, you come and account. So now, so we had this challenge initially, but then, I mean, we moved on. And then another challenge was that. They were looking at it like my role, for instance, was like uh, an ordinary chairperson. Okay, so they established the LOC, you are the chairman, you go and have a meeting, you go and sit in your, your home, and then you come back and, and all that. So the chief operating officer, I think that's what they did in Cannes, uh, 2008. He takes charge the day to day. So I look, I told, the, I told the, uh, the minister, I said, this responsibility is not like Come and chair, go home. No, no, no. This is not going to happen. If you, because the box stops at my end, and if you want me to be very effective, then it has to be a day to day. Mm. So it didn't end there. <coughs> we had a meeting with the president. I said, Mr. President, if the box is going to step at, stop at my end, it has to be this. It has to be executive chairman. That I will run the business day to day, and then I will account. Otherwise, I won't be interested. You are not a ceremonial chair. No, no, that won't. You no, want I, to operationally yes. manage. Yes. Otherwise, I'm There's not going no to point. Be, no, 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 no. Did the president agree with no, you? No, he agreed. So that was why. So initially it was chairman of the LOC, and then he changed to executive, executive chairman, chairman of the LOC. This was all within the first year. Yeah, within the first year. Now there was the issue of office. Mm. So I must be very honest. Others didn't understand why I was asking for all those things. With my old colleagues, it took some people, it took us some of them, some time to mm. understand. Now, the issue of office also came up. We wanted a place, we searched around, we got some places. First, we went to the Ministry of Housing, uh, and then it was then uh, Honorable Atacha. No, this one, uh, who just changed? Uh, works and Housing. Works and Housing. Oh, oh. sorry. Oh. That will be. Uh, Asensu, 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 Bantam Asensu. Yes, Bantam Asensu. <laughs> I was just, just trying to remember. It is the so, second thing. Yes, so they gave us a chance to move around, to search around. We did the searching. We brought, we got one. I think we were going to pay about uh, $12,000 a year. And they said the money was too much. And so they couldn't get to So it. you spent the first few months just basically Looking, searching, doing all the Setting yourself up. Yes. We haven't and talked about tournaments no, yet. No, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> so eventually, wow. <laughs> we had to be pushed to, uh, we went to, they said, the Ministry of Human, uh, a crossbow stadium. Oh, my God. So they, we, we went to, uh, we got us a place at Accra. First, we were meeting as well. You have the VIP when you enter the stadium. <laughs> so that's where initially we were meeting. Wow. So we met there and then go away. So eventually they got us a place. I think they got us three rooms. Uh, wow. at, the, at the beginning. For the whole LOC. Yeah, at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so I had one. And no, initially it was two. Dr. Mm. Uso and Sam occupied one. Then Rex occupied one. Then later they got mine. Okay, so I Who were on your team? Can you mention the yes. team members? So myself as the executive chairman of the LOC, Dr. Usu as the chief operating officer, uh -huh. uh, Rex Brobe as the deputy chief operating officer. Former 100 meter yes. then Olympic Dr. finalist. Yes. Dr. Junfo Williams, uh -huh. uh, uh, Eva Autry. Journalist Dan, lawyer. Yeah, Dan Kweku Yabua. Journalist. Ben Nunu Mensa. GOC. GOC president. Um, we are seven now. That's a strong team. Yes. Um, why am I missing? So, so this was the nine, this was and this, this nine have remained since? Yes, this nine has remained, and we have had a, a two additional... How tight persons. were you guys? Now, I need to get everybody. I've got, I mentioned seven. You've mentioned Rex, you've mentioned Owusu Ansan, Sasha. you mentioned a gentleman I don't know. Uh, ben Nuno Mensah. I know him. Okay, Dan Kokuyabu. I know him. 
Eva Ochre. I know her. You know, you know. Eva. But you mentioned the name. I didn't know. You mentioned the name after you are tired. You get the names. <laughs> I'm sure Bao will remind you. <laughs> so you have this nine. Now we had a nine. No, yeah. uh, Joyce Dacher, eight. Joyce Dacher. Yes, Joyce is a, a former uh, hockey player. Okay. Uh, Joyce Dacher comes in as as eight. Uh, I'll get you the other one. And then later we had something Sam, Dean added, added, to, added to it. And then um, we had um, also Kwesi Manti coming in. Okay. And then we had um, uh, Ibrahim Ajayisowa as the liaison from, uh, Ibrahim Ajay, yes. yeah, from the president's office. Wow. Yaosechi. Yaosechi also Sechi. came on board at some Yaosechi point. Yaosechi is a, is a, uh, a chairperson of uh, the... Marketing, uh, marketing and PR. And, and, I interviewed and, and, yeah, him. Yeah, I, I listened to him. But you, I've known you as a journalist, and then I know you went abroad to become mm. a lawyer. You no. stayed, or you've been in the UK for many years. Yes. I think you got your PhD yeah. as well. So at what point did you become a, 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 a sports administrator? <laughs> ah, well, that's a good question. Well, I've always do, done journalism as, as, as a... As a, as a second job, as a part of... Oh, it wasn't I, that, a, it wasn't no, 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 I was moonlighting. What was your main job? My main job, administration. Administration. I was the, uh, the uh, HR and administrative manager of Ashanti Golfers. Are you kidding me? Yeah, those days. When so those guys, those times you were on TV doing sports I was, beat. I was, I was, I was. Because Kamele uh, also said he was working at the, I think, uh, urban roads or something. No, it was at Japan. Kamele Japan. Yes. He says he was working yes. at um, so this highways. Is, this, yes. So you guys were working yes. in this, the civil this service. Is, this is how it started. And then you, you, you do the media for yes. fun. Yes, this is how it started. When we came out of the university in 1985 after our national service, then GBC decided to create a program called Sports Beat. Okay. Now, those days you just don't walk into a program. We were auditioned All right. and selected. But what makes you think these days you just walk into a program? Well, it's... Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever. So you stay, and stay in track. Stay on your track. Don't move out of your track. So, <laughs> okay. so that's how we all got into it. Yeah. And I was then uh, doing my national service at a company called Vacuum Salt. Okay. Okay, so I was doing that, and then I was doing this. Um, I was doing the show later. So the show was just a part-time thing you were doing? Yes. Saturdays? I've never 12, been... 12.30 or yes, so? Yes, 12, 1 o'clock. Sports bit. But you were writing as well? I, I was writing about old sportsmen. So you were not like fully no, no, fledged no, 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 no. So you left. I, I, sorry, yes. I'm, I'm yes. diverted. No, no, so, no, 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 so a lot of people ask me this question all the time. Yeah. So after that, after a while, then I decided to go back to the university again to do my masters at the business school. Okay. So over there too, I was still working and doing okay. that. So after my masters, then I moved to Ashanti Gulf Force and worked full time there. HR and administration. Uh, yes. In For charge of. For about six years, in charge of all the all the sites, we had four sites in Accra, uh, in Ghana, and then a site in Guinea, sites in. Uh, so who, who told you to, who recommended you to for, to be LOC chair? Well, I was just I was just there. I think I will give the credit to the minister. So, the minister of sports. Yes. He put your name out. Yes, I don't know. Did you know him before this? I see him. I know. I know. I see him. I see him. You know. I see him. So he nominated yes. you. So he put the team together, all the members of the LOC. Wow. Present, presented it to the president for approval. So if yeah, if this tournament is successful, is we, we have to also remember Isiama. Yes, he yes, I was, I, I was, I, we always, always give him that that, that wow. credit. Isaac Isiama. Yes, Isaac, Isaac Kwame Isiama is the full name. Amazing. So, so that's that's been. So then at the Ashanti Golf Force, after a while, I decided to move to UK for further studies. Okay. First to do another masters at Greenwich, World Trade and Development. Mm. My second masters. Then I moved into, uh, I went to Westminster to do my PhD in political economy. Uh, I looked at the IMF and the World Bank policies and how they impact on uh, developing countries. The case study was Ghana, the cocoa sector. Hey. I was checking why. You are a very big shot. <laughs> so the, the issue, what attracted me most was that at that time, the IMF, you know how the other policies are. The IMF was advocating that all the cocoa producing countries should uh, disband their cocoa marketing balls because they were being used as a, a conduit for siphoning uh, mm -hmm. money. But Ghana decided not to do that. So I think the team was led by PV or Bing. And so you did some research on that? Did, yes. So, so let's go back to the president. He said, deliver the tournament, make sure we do better in the medals, and put up facilities that will outlast. Yes. And that is this. That was your remit. Yes. First point, the tournament was supposed to be 2023. Mm -hmm. But it was it happened in 2024. Mm -hmm. Was that your fault? Why? How come it happened that way? 
Uh, that's another good question. You know, after Morocco hosted the tournament, yeah. there was this agreement. We call it item interpreted agreement between uh -huh. the African Union and the Association of African Sports Confederation, yeah. UCSA or ANOCA. Yeah. Then you have, we also have the uh, uh, ANOCA, Association of National Olympic Committees of Africa. Uh -huh. So they put together an agreement for the Moroccan Games. Uh -huh. And after that, they believe, they thought that... It will be replicated here. Yeah, the same agreement will apply. Then African Union signed an, a, a protocol agreement with us. So it angered these people and said, hang on. We so Anoka wasn't happy. Anoka and, and Uksa were not happy, so it, it dragged on. They wanted to take us to... So just to be clear, AU is the owner of the Africa Games. Yes. Anoka, the, Anoka is the various GOCs. Yes. yes. Every country's yes. Olympic committee. Yes. And then the technical committees or confederations are handled by Uksa. So you are the technical guy? Yes, they, they fall under the technical guy. You are a professional athlete? Yes. yes. But so you came together to do Morocco? Yes. So after that, they said they wanted that same agreement should to apply. apply to Ghana. And, and, and but the AU decided agree. no. So there was a, it was a fight? It was a fight. It delayed It you. delayed. So it delayed. There was the litigation oh, up, yeah. to the 19th of, up to 19 February 2023. Are you serious? I'm serious. Of the year, the terms were so yes. okay. So nine, from, 20, yeah. from 12 August 2021? Yes. Wow. So and by 19 February, what was in place? We had uh, the technical committee. We had the LOC, and these people were bickering. We brought them to Ghana. But had you started building Bortiman? Yeah, we had. Had you we started had. revamping Legon? Yes, we had. We so were working. You were working? We were while working. All this was going yes, on. we were working. So the date change occurred because of this Because dispute. of all this. And uh, so when we signed the agreement, uh, to, to change a few things in the protocol agreement. Yeah. Then it was too short for us to be able to do it in August 2023. Okay. So then there was an agreement. The president, I must give him credit, he was with us in Addis. Uh -huh. Okay. And sat with us for about five hours before, before we got a chance to sit around the table. Let me quick to add that we brought these, two, these feuding parties to Ghana in, Mar in, in March the previous year. But the issue wasn't resolved. So in February, when everything was OK, we, we went to Addis, we did all that. Then the president intervened together with the chairperson of uh, African Union, uh, His Excellency Mustafaki. And so we signed that agreement. And that is when we brought the new technical committee for the African Games. We call it TCAG. And we had so the disagreements about who was going to own the games. Yeah, who was well, the various roles of the of, of the stakeholders between the Olympic committees, Jeez. the professional yeah, people, yeah, and yes. you guys. Yes. So Anoka, it took you two years to yes, resolve yes. that. Anoka had the role of marketing the games. That's but, the Olympic committees. Yes. But then when we signed the protocol agreement, the marketing of the games uh, was given to us. That role was given to us. And is, Anoka wasn't too happy about that. It. And this. And what role were these guys playing? The, the technical. Technical the, means what? Technical means. Like, for instance, boxing. The officials who will come, those who are officiating, the referees, the umpires, and all that. They, from, they come So you the organize, make sure the venue is ready, make sure, make sure the there's food, make sure the hotel is okay. All the organization aspects. Bauer so and his people will come in. Make sure the 100 meters is real 100 meters. Yes. If the athlete is running properly. Yeah, in so a, they officiate. Yes, but they in, addition to that, in addition to that, when you're constructing, when you're building these facilities, you need their input. Have to be standard. Yes, to certify. So Bauer, for instance, during athletics at, at uh, Legon, he had to come in, we had to bring people in and all that to check so wow. that you build to international standard. When it, goes, when it happens uh, with swimming, with all the facilities, you build to the international standard. And we had to do the research to get the contractors to build, it so was just part of their scope. Is what he's saying true? Yes. So, so what did you do for this tournament? Just give me a sense. I saw you there in the tournament, moving up and down. Every award you were yes. there. <laughs> but I, is it correct in saying that you were the technical guys? So from the Ghana side, you yes. were the people who were in charge of the technical standards and the monitoring the technical issues? Is yes. Uh, actually, we started working with him um, two, three years ago, when we uh, were even trying to sign the contract for the Mundo to come. Okay. Um, it came very critical that they needed their support okay. with uh, the consultant who were consulting for Kwanza with the Kwanza technician because initially Legon has the old tracks there uh -huh. that were built on concrete. Mm -hmm. But we insisted that this new track should be built on asphalt. Okay. So there was that confusion between the association, 
the the concert company and the consultancy okay. but they wanted to build it on the concrete we said no so we came together to them when they were still having their meetings at the vip thankfully they supported us and the ministry also supported the idea that everything should be built all right on effort. So that, that, that's why we started, even through the certification of the tracks by the World Athletics just a week before the competition started. What was your working relationship like with him? How was it like working with him, each other? Perfect. Perfect? Perfect. Did you guys feel like when we couldn't do it in 2023 that there was a chance that Ghana couldn't pull it off at all? Now I I never believed that Ghana will I never believed that Ghana will not uh, will not host it. You I, knew we could do it. Yes. I I Shaban uh, we were five of them that we just made our mind that no matter what, this countries, countries have to come on. So even by August 2023, we're not ready, and they were announcing that it will be March 2024. Yes. We still knew we could do the, it. Yeah, we still knew we could do it. Even at International Forum, we, we, we advocate seriously for this competition. Wow. Yes. So when we come back, I'll talk about the athletics targets, the sporting targets for the tournament. But just in terms of facilities, so we had Bottoman built, we had Legon upgraded. Yeah. Did you do anything to Bukum Arena? No, Bukum, it was okay. Bukum was okay. Bukum was okay. Where else? Yeah. Usually Legon basketball court. Yeah, we, we had to. Initially, we were going for the 5x5. Five five, uh, but then the Federation said they wanted 3x3. Three, 3x3. Three three uh, three. Three three Legon was able to do it. Yeah, so we, we had to put together the structure for the 3x3. Three three. And then what we also so did. So this is happening where? This swimming I'm seeing right now? It's, bo it's uh, uh, Bottoman. Olympic size. Yes, Bottoman. Indoor. Yes. World Bottom. class. Yeah, world class. The timer is electronic. Yes, everything. Top, 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 top. One of the best in Africa. This? Yes. What else is in Bottoman? Bottoman, we also have a multi purpose uh, building for different sporting facilities like volleyball, volleyball, a badminton, badminton, um, judo, um, so many things that you can think that could be done. The, the discipline is it that, up to Olympic standard? It's all because you know, standard. in Olympics, they even have places for indoor cycling. Yes. Do we have that? No, that's not, that, here. Not, not here. Not here. But we have the facilities for squash. Squash. We, we didn't select squash for the games. Uh, but badminton, badminton, handball, handball, all the indoor games. Yes, volleyball. All of them transpired over there. We, we played all of them over there. Then we also have a dome. Okay. A dome. Yeah, that's also meant for multi-purpose disciplines. Uh -huh. Then we have a tennis court and enclosure, sit, thousand seating capacity for Serious? tennis. Yes, tennis. And then we have four tennis courts also outside. They were all, you know. Wow. So we had competitions, uh, you know, simultaneously. You know, being so played. they are training facilities and they are yeah, yes. compete all at Bottoman. At Bottoman. And we have a spare uh, uh, field that they've also laid the Mundo tracks. He will confirm. Yes. We have Mundo tracks laid at Bottoman. When so, you say Mundo track, what's Mundo track? You know, people talk about Tatan, Tatan tracks. tracks. Yeah. But these are names of the organization. The companies. The companies. Uh, so Mundo is a brand. Mundo, Mundo is a brand. brand. Tatan is a brand. brand. I see. But any artificial track in Ghana, it's a lot of Tatan. people. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. yes. but, so, but what is at Legon? About the, we saw the stadium in the we grass. Have, we have, what we have at Legon? Legon, we have also uh, rugby field. Rugby Attached to that. Yes, mm. and that's one of the best in Africa. That's world rugby standard pitch rugby pitch. With seats. Yes. And then there was some place that athletes were training outside. There was a place I saw outside saying the athletes were running. Yeah, that was the warm-up track. The warm-up track. There's a warm-up track, yes. Thank you. There's a warm-up track. Warm track. The same, yeah. same So with that, we can host any international athletic competition. competition. So this thing is Mundo Tracks. Yes. Yeah, this is Mundo Now, when you say it's electronic, it means that it's not somebody with a watch timing. When no, they start no. running, yeah. uh -huh. it automatically yeah. records for yes. us. How does this work? You see, the, you see the starting blocks, there are speakers on it. Uh-huh. So when the starter speaks, you see the speakers. Yes, set. The, yes, the speakers you connected connected electronically. That gives you the four star detector. Ah. So if an athlete, even when you're on the block set, if he fidgets, it will it, record, it will record. You, record as a four star. And there's a small box there. When you have a four star, it will beam in the eyes of the starter, and they can even print it for you. So he will know. He will know. And when you are going and to when IV, they cross the line, how does it know that? No, there's a, a two poles. And at the finishing line, which have infrared. In, infrared. infrared. You see the yellow. Uh, the, yeah. the, so the, as soon one. as you cross it, as soon as it's called, you break the infrared. Then yeah, you break the time. Yeah, that's why it's easy to remember. Yeah. time, yes. And they, sometimes it's point one second or point zero zero one second different. The grass in the middle, can they play football there? Yes. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a football yes, size. It, it's a standard football pitch. What's the size of the stadium? The capacity. Capacity. It's about nine ten thousand. Eh? No, no, it's, it's about twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Initially, it was. 10,000, we upgraded it, and it's about 10,200. And, and it's 
there's no popular stand. Everybody, one man, one seat. No. There, there, Where's the popular stand? There is the, we have the VVIP, the VVIP and the VVIP. I'm talking about whether everybody can get a seat or whether their place post stand. No, 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 there you have to sit. Exactly. So everybody, everybody you sit, yeah, you everybody sit. sits. Because popular stand, you stand. No, no, no. So this one, every, there's no popular stand, everybody sits. Yes, so, there's there's a, so there are 12,000 seats. Yes, there, 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 it's 10,000 plus. Plus two. Yes, for 200. Mm. So we have a uh, popular sitting. Popular sitting. Mm. Every, every, everybody sits. Everybody sits. Yeah. Yeah. This is a VIP stand. This yeah. boy, behind is VIP. Uh, I was a VIP, they gave me drink. Mm -hmm. They served me water. They served, they served, served you, yes. Even the lunch, there was some chop chop in the lunch. So. You see people comfortably seated. What would this do for athletics in Ghana? Very much. Um, we have already started getting requests mm. from the Confederation of African Athletics to bid for 2026 African Championships. Already? Already. When they came, what they saw, uh, I was told that for the last 20 years, they've never seen any organization like this in athletics before. For the past 20 years? For the past 20 years. The so, for, for so the, they are now approaching you to host, to yeah. host African Championship. Because you are ready. We are ready. In terms of officiating, um, he opened one of our officiating official course last year. Wow. We did three officiating official course. And the last one, we had 110. All of them passed. So we have a lot of officials. We have yeah. a lot of officials. We have a lot of equipment. We have three sets of equipment. Wow. You see the starting blocks. This was the brand new one we used. We have two brand new ones in not Lagos. Even used yet. Not even you. Not we, we don't even open it. Every equipment that wow. we we requested for, we had three sets. Two sets from uh, Mundo. You see, the main stadium has complete set. Yeah. The warm up stadium also have complete set. And we also got another one, another set of equipment from Tashan. That one I will not touch it. When we so come there. back, we'll talk about the performance. <laughs> yes. Um, Nineteen gold. 22 silver or so. We'll discuss the performances and then we'll also talk to Ivan Skadman Yamwa. Yeah. This is the point of view tonight. We're reflecting on the African Games and also previewing the future of Ghana Athletics. Power of Husseini, Athletics Ghana, Kuku Fusa Sari is the executive chairman of the LOC for the tournament. Stay with us. Upgrade with your recoded GCP mobile app and do more with ease. Send and receive funds seamlessly. Your recoded GCP mobile app is fast. Use it to pay all bills and enjoy the convenience. No worries. Top up on all types of ECG prepaid meters easily. Your GCP mobile app makes that possible with this smart card reader. Pay your subscriptions and fees to over 150 merchants. It is safe and timely. All transactions on GCB Mobile App are smooth. GCB Mobile App, upgrade your style. GCB Bank, your bank for life. Your health is in your hands, but at some point, it passes on to us. At Mintuba Hospital and Coloproctology Center, we believe that quality healthcare isn't a privilege, it's a right. Equipped with cutting edge technology, we are fully prepared to effectively deal with all colorectal and proctological conditions. Our team of highly skilled doctors, surgeons, and nurses are renowned for their expertise in minimally invasive and painless laser, ligature, and longoproctological surgery. We are committed to providing a wide range of services to meet the diverse needs of our patients. Mintuba Hospital, your health is our priority. Visit Mintuba Hospital today or call us at 0244-581-541 or 0271-054-204. Mintuba Hospital, in to serve a peculiar health need. This is a call to you. The dreamers. 
the ones that see no boundaries. Dreamers take a chance. The explorers that chart their own path. Unlock the vibes, connect the energy. The ones that dare to challenge the status quo. Get connected, feel the When others try to think outside the box, you wonder what box. Catch the wave, enjoy the ride. To the architects of their journeys. Every connection is an opportunity to explore every experience. This is your call to adventure. Your journey begins here. Be bold, be daring, be free. Connecting passions, connecting dreams, connecting ambitions. Telesel, connecting energies. Point of view is live tonight. We're reflecting on the African Games and also looking forward to Ghana Athletics. So my guest, Kuku Fusa Sari, who's the executive chairman of the LOC, Bawa Fuseni of Athletics Ghana. I'll be speaking to Evans Kadman Yamwa. I consider the star of the tournament. They were many stars. So let's talk about the second issue the president gave him. Perform better. I'm told our best performance prior to this tournament was 1973 or yeah. something. Yeah, but I have to give credit to the <coughs> International uh, Games Committee. Okay. I mean, initially, we had wanted, we planned to assist with uh, the building of uh, Team Ghana mm -hmm. because Dr. Oswanza has the experience in, uh, you know, how to measure somebody's output, how to assist, and all those. So we mm -hmm. thought we could, we could take advantage of those skills. But later on, um, they said we should leave that to the International Games Committee, uh, headed by the Deputy Chief, uh, the Deputy Minister. Uh, Honorable Evans Bobier. So we had to play a, a backstage role. Uh -huh. But then we had wanted to improve. So you were the, not directly in charge of preparing the athletes? Yes, we were not directly you in charge. You were making sure the sure event they, was organized. What they needed and all that. But then, so it means we can't blame you too much for if the performance didn't go well. Uh, well, <laughs> in the strict <laughs> sense of the word. It, that's, that's but the, did you have an objective in terms of, because the president said increase our medal or decrease so, by what percentage? Yes, yeah, so that is, how we, that is why we had wanted to be involved because that, to us, it was one of our mandates. Okay. You know, but when it became like... Uh, you know, a bit of, uh, you know what, what I mean? Yeah. When, when there was a bit of disagreement about yeah. our role and yeah. the role of the Internet Games Committee, we said, okay, let's leave it to you. So it wasn't your remit? Yes. So we, they decided to say that even though we were hosting, they considered it as if Ghana uh, were to have gone out. So they would prepare them normally. They would have, it would have been the, the there responsibility. Was no emphasis. Uh, it would have been the responsibility of this, com this particular committee. So we left it as, as it is. But the, I, I, the initial mandate was that we should improve upon what we achieved in Morocco. Which was how many medals? Uh, Morocco. Do we know? Morocco, I think we were. Is oh, it 15? Uh, Morocco, we had five from Atlantis. Yeah. We have four from. Uh, we're 13th uh, in we're Morocco, we're, I'm told. We're, yes, we're 13th. Is it 13th? 13th or 15th in Morocco. Yeah. So we're not in the top 10. We're not in the top 10. The previous time before this, we were 21st, then we moved to 15th. So we're not in the top 10. No. So we set our target. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
one silver yeah. and two uh boxing always, has always been good yeah, for us yeah and two four bronze, gold one silver and two bronze. Three bronze. so boxing was our number so two 47 so. yeah then our number three was athletics, athletics. yeah we had three, three gold, gold two, two silver, silver and, and one, one bronze. bronze how does Six. it compare to athletics in morocco this one the performance was better in morocco we had two gold just two gold two yeah. gold and then the silver and the bronze and so this was better than morocco in far, athletics far yeah. boxing yeah. was better than morocco uh, morocco yes yeah. and then we had football Two gold, yeah. two gold, which was the uh, ultimate. Yes, I mean, so to us, it was host and win. Yeah. Which was Ghana, you not let football go. Yeah. Weightlifting, one gold. Yeah, one gold. One, one silver. And, uh, two silver. Uh, two silver. Two silver. Yeah. Two silver. Yeah. Two and then on the field, we only got, we didn't get javelin, we didn't get track, we didn't get this. So that's the full event. The yeah. full yeah. event was Cadman. So the, the main field event winner was Cadman. Cadman, yes. Yeah. High jump for men and for women. Men, men and women, yes. And, and that, both won comfortably. Comfortably. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and um, for me, that is where we should look at the That's future. Kadma. That's yeah. Kadma. Right. He came, yeah, we came, he, we brought his coach along. Mm -hmm. The coach is a very young man, 27 year old. Kadma is 23 and the coach is 27. 27. So they are two young boys. <laughs> they are two young boys. <laughs> Yesterday I met the coach. Um, we are preparing him for the African Championship. Okay. And to see whether he win that your African Championship can qualify you into the Olympics. Well, he got 2.23. It's yes. still a bit below yeah. the yes, qualifying the, standard. The Olympic is 2.33. Uh, but we're not looking at the pe uh, performance. We're looking at the area championship. Because he's very young. He's very young, 20, 23 years old boy. He just but what, what do you make of his performance? Is, does he have the potential to he be has, a world He has. He has the Once you're able to jump more than 2.215, 2.15. If you're yeah. higher than 2.15. 1.5, you are an elite. Because that's where they start from. That's where they start from. At, at the Olympic game, they start from 1.95. Oh, so he he will easily go. Yeah, he will easily go from from there. Really? He will easily go from, uh, easily go from there. Because sometimes some of them skip. Some of them skip for one one point nine five. Some of them skip up to two point two zero before. He doesn't the build of a high jumper. They are usually skinny like me. He yeah, is a bit it, muscular. Muscular and very flexible. Like Sotomaya. You know Sotomaya. Javier Sotomaya. Javier Sotomaya. The, the, world, the record holder. The, the world record holder. He just like him, but he's a bit taller than him. So he, they are more muscular. They and are flexible. more muscular and flexible. So and as against the slim, slim ones, slim ones, yes. The slim ones they have lower limb, they have longer lower limbs and shorter upper limbs. Because then the, the leg, they can have they the spring. The spring, but this. But this guy powers himself, powers himself over, himself over the over the over the bar. And this guy jumped two point one, two point eight, two point one eight in school, mm -hmm. and that was where we knew that he, he, he could, could do jump. It. Yeah, he could jump better. And winning this one, we are hoping that it will qualify him for the Olympic Games, being an area champion. Some people feel we didn't prepare at least well, that they could have done much, much better. Yes, the, yes, no, it, it definitely so. Um, not only the, the time was even a program, but because of the indoor championship, they had just completed indoor games. Mm. Yes, and it, it didn't affect only Ghana, it affected almost all the West Africa and the Kenyans, those who have their athletes in, their, um, in American universities. But we told our athletes that, look, the dates have been selected. Forget about being indoor or outdoor. Let you prepare you for the championships. But, but the, yeah. let, me, let me add, Bernard, that Baba will, will, Baba will be my, is my witness. I mean, at the LOC, when we told we're going to handle them, we have put in place plans mm. as to how best they will be. We, we, the training program for them, we had, we had even wanted to have an open competition where selection Mm -hmm. will be made so that everybody will see that he, he we robbed him and, uh, and and all that because of this uh, issue of favoritism where at least some athletes so if you if you had been given a more dominant role no, no you we, think we, we could have done better we, we, i think that if we had if they had agreed for us to work together mm. you know the hands of thing and we had also had a bit of influence mm. and the things that we had the programs that we had planned if we had all been if we had been given the needed resources, because I, we really wanted Dr. Usu and Sans' uh, uh, influence, because he did a lot for the team that went to um, Morocco. Morocco. And, uh, and he was, was on your team? No, he's my chief, chief, chief operating officer. What do you make of Rose? Rose is phenomenal. Rose has got the potential of an Olympic sized athlete. Um, he was having a little issue with a check mark, but once he went to the US, they have polished it up. Polished it up. And for the next two years, Rose will dominate African high jump, if not the world. You can predict. Yes. Yeah. Who was the outstanding but, athlete? But, but, we are looking at Azameti. It looks like he, he didn't the, show up. Yeah. The dominant athletes were two. Not Rose, because Rose have won this competition several times. Yeah. 
Cadman and William Amponsa. William Amponsa, the long distance. The long distance runner, yes. Silver in the half uh, marathon. It With has, Kenyans and Ethiopians. It has never happened. <laughs> For the first time in the history of Ghana, there will be these Kenyan and Ethiopians. Not only in the. Where has he been training? Has he been training in Kenya? Or where has he been training? No, no, no. He's a Sodro boy. Sodro boy? Sodro boy, yeah. He won the marathon two years ago. Two years ago. And he was also in Birmingham. In Birmingham. He was in Birmingham. We took him to Birmingham. Then he broke national record. Serious? Yes. We also took him to World Cross Country in Australia last year. And I think he went to the US. He went to, you know, he done school in the US. Then he went to another marathon in London. Um, so he has been. He has Show been me the one. relay, if you have it, or the 200. Because I watched the 200, and I think Joe Paul had a point to prove. Joe Paul ran the 200. Very, he really wanted yeah. to. Because very I think maturely. the relay, he knew we should have won. What, what, what happened in the relay? <laughs> no, the relay, there was just a delay in the last change over box. You know, really, he had to turn back to take that where the Nigeria passed him. Because we were actually leading. When he turned back to take the baton, there was a bit of delay there. And then so this is the 200 over. final. There was yeah. another Ghanaian in the final who was fourth. Uh, uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. How, yeah. how, who is he? He's he, he just a uh, one young guy who, who went to the U.S. last year. So he's now coming out? He's also coming out. He also did 20.97. You see here, the Nigerian caught up with him, but he maintained his composure. So he could have even been a medal prospect yes. if he had... Uh, oh. yeah, really. So the, the Nigerian wanted to donate everything. I told him, no, you can't, you can't take everything. We have to take the 200 from them again. Yeah. So, so Joe Paul's 200 was not surprising for you? It, it was. You knew he was one of the people you were looking for? Yes, we knew he was the biggest 200 meters athlete from, uh, in that competition. Looking at his performance at the Commonwealth Games. Because the Commonwealth Games, he was a bronze medalist. And none of these people went to, uh, even went to finals. Yeah. What about Azamati? What happened to him? Azamati was not actually in top form. Yeah, his form, he's not picking up because he's not in school, so he didn't go through most of the, the indoor competition. So he's not ready? He's not ready. Even though he qualified for the World Indoors Competition, uh, World Indoor Championship in, in, in Glasgow, but he opted not to go because of this championship. But, yeah, but, he's, but he's, you see, Bernard, this is where I, I have a, a concern, mm -hmm. okay? We are hosting the games. Yeah. You are in charge of these athletes. You know that this guy must be prepared. Get him ready. Get him ready. Because he has to host yes. the win. You see, so so as as the host, we should have put in more investment to prepare our athletes. We shouldn't get carried away with this achievement. Marvelous achievement. But we need to invest, mm. you know, to move to the next level. We shouldn't be complacent we could have at been all. More dominant. We could have been we could have won more medals if our preparations uh, have been really uh, uh, um, uh, made if we are prepared as expected, let me put that way. Mm. And Please, 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 you cannot reap anything if you don't sow. We have to invest in the in athletes, yes. too. So preparation is not just the facilities. No, 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 no. I'll take a break. When I come, I'll speak to uh, Ivan Skadman, uh, Yamwa, and also wrap up my guests. We're reflecting on the African game. Stay with us. Smile, hmm? Look lively, okay? Smile, smile! <gasps> Is the money too small? A bad stomach ruins your day. Don't let it. Take Gastron, your most effective antacid, for the relief of symptoms of peptic ulcer, heartburn, gas pain, flatulence, and indigestion. Hey guys, what are you waiting for? Let's go, let's go. Mwah. Can you bring down the smiles more? <laughs> Gastron, effective relief from stomach discomfort. Manufactured and distributed by NS Chemist Limited. This advertisement has been written and approved by the FDA. Our stories begin right here, and we never write them alone. Sometimes we write them with someone who puts our story first. Other times, with someone who puts their own story first. There'll be pages we love to read again and again, and some we'll barely remember. Sometimes we feel like the hero of our story, and other times, not. There are stories of dreamers, stories of creators, stories of strivers, stories of believers, and we're inspired by them all.
That's why we invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. The new GTB New Style Collection, created to celebrate our identity as Ghanaians. I am made in Ghana. Me free Ghana. GTP Life Styled. If whiskey could talk, Johnny Walker Black Label would sing. With notes that only come with 12 years in a barrel. Sweet, smooth, toffee, rich fruit, and a touch of smoke. Tastes as good as it sounds. Drink responsibly, not for sale to persons under 18 years of age. Not recommended for pregnant women. This advert is FDA approved. So Evans Kadman Yamoa is the latest sensation not just because he won gold, the, the manner in which he won it and the atmosphere his victory brought to the stadium, incredible. Evans, thanks for joining us. I understand you are in transit, so we're going to make this quick. Congratulations on that fantastic performance on Friday, Evans. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can you walk me through? I was at the stadium watching you slug it out with the Moroccan and the South African all the way to 2.23. Can you walk me through what was going through your mind as you were taking that last attempt for the 2.23? Uh, so first of all, I want to express a profound gratitude to the level people of Ghana for cheering me on and uh, supporting me, their prayers and their presence. Really did the magic and uh, that gold medal I won is for the whole people of Ghana. So back to your actual question. At that moment, I, like, I didn't know what I was doing. It was the people, the atmosphere, the way people were cheering me on. And I consulted my coach, who was in the stand to be there. I saw him. And he told me all the things I was doing wrong, like what, what was wrong and what I was it. So at that point, I was thinking about what he said. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do this last run. It's now or never. And uh, I just thought that the magic. <laughs> No, but the, the crowd was amazing. Is it because you were vandal? Like, they were singing throughout, you were doing the shuffle. Talk to me about the effect of the crowd on your performance. So, um, I'm a vandal, I'm still a vandal, and I'm forever a vandal. Uh, whenever I first go to, like, I came to the University of Ghana as a Frenchman, I know what these people can do. They've shared me on before, I know the impact it has on me, the adrenaline run that comes to me anytime they're around. That's why I had them to come cheer me on that day. So their presence alone like gave me an extra confidence. Okay, I was competing against people who have like competed in like a uh, level like the South African guy. So having my brother is there, I felt like okay fine. But come what me, I I still I still have my friends around I still have my family around I feel like a good show. So they cheer me on did a lot like, to care did like the wonders I would say. Mm. Look, I had an interview you did before the games, and you were so confident. They asked you what you thought of the other athletes, and you said you were focusing on yourself. Where do you get that kind of confidence from, particularly for somebody who started high jump, I'm told, only in SHS3? Your confidence is pretty su super. Tell me about your, your journey as a, as a high jumper. So, um... I started high jumping in 2018 when I was about to graduate from SHS. My best friend was a high jumper. I was just going to my soccer for that group play. And I, I headed over the school record and the coach saw me like, okay, you have potential, come join us. I mean, I didn't want to do it because uh, I saw one of our seniors had a severe injury. He got paralyzed from high jumping so much. Uh, high jumping was not like a thing. But 
in this case, like in high school, I'm doing the house inspection on that on that period. So I wanted to like avoid house inspection. So I saw them first and I thought, okay, this is the perfect avenue for me to see house inspection. Then I got my best friend in high jumping, oh. which is yeah, super, like they did a wonderful job. They placed me in the shoe with the techniques. Now, fast forward, I won in the horse, I won uh, Super Zona, I was in Ghana, took me on, they quit me, I quit to do it, a wonderful job. And uh, yeah, I dominated high jump in the high jump category for four years, being like a new guy in the, in the high jump. I dominated for four years, four or five years. And I went to the middle of San Francisco, where they perfected my craft, being added a little to what I was already doing. Now, back to the actual question about my confidence. I believe we are training enough, which is part of now. If you are like good people around you, you shouldn't be scared of what other people are doing about. It's all about you. And what do you have? What are you bringing to the table? And coming all the way from the US to compete in my own country, I wasn't going to let anyone take that dangerous from us. And that was my home soil. I've competed in the University of Ghana Stadium countless times over and over again. So my people are going to be there, my family is going to be there. So that confidence alone, like really, I, I think it, 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 that, that's the magic for me. It scared people away. And yeah, once I have good people around me, I don't care to present myself to the rest of the world. So that's what, that, that's exactly what I did. I noticed you, you went for a higher bar, 2.25 after this one and somehow you were not able to do it. I suspect it was the, the adrenaline and the, the stadium atmosphere because that day, the, your 2.21 jump was so much higher than the bar. So it, it tells me you could have gone much higher, but I think the, the victory and the noise probably affected your ability to go a bit higher that day, if I'm correct. Yes, yes, so how about to look at the videos from Friday? I quit and now I realized that after I jumped in 223, I wasted so much energy uh, celebrating, like sharing with the fans and all that. And also the shoes that I was using to act, actually jump, they got destroyed, like, they got damaged. So I had to change it to my practice five. And that's what like, I was like, okay, I haven't actually jumped in these shoes before. So I'm going to do it after like, I have first game. So. That's what the problem was. I was the point energy and the shoe I was using. So that was his uh, 2.25 attempt. You think he can qualify for the Olympic Games? Yes. He will. He, he, he can qualify by rankings. By ranking? By ranking, yes. But at this time, clearing 2.33 this year, is it, it will be a huge challenge. Because you can't raise 2.3 to 3.3 two, three, three like, two, three, three like that. 3.3 like that. But win the African Championship. Uh, win the African Championship or win the Games Championship can qualify him to the Olympic Games. What's the biggest legacy of these uh, games? Well, yeah. well, in my view, uh, I will put it uh, to the facilities that we built, mm. uh, you know, that to me will be the biggest legacy that we've been able to achieve so far. Mm. We've been able to, you know, narrow the uh, infrastructure, sporting infrastructure deficiencies, and uh, particularly for the uh, lesser discipline uh, uh, sports. And we think that if you talk about swimming, we now have a first class swimming. Uh, what happened in 2008 for us, to me, it's, uh, was real, was a disaster, was uh, uh, I would term it as kamikaze because we shot ourselves in our foot. We destroyed athletics in Ghana mm. by removing the Titan tracks mm. and uh, at the Cross Sports Stadium. So now that we've been able to have uh, these artificial tracks at uh, University of Ghana and Botiman, uh, and at Botiman this is the time where... Is there a track at Botiman as well? There's a yes, track. There's a, a field there, there's a track there. Wow. That's, we're going to build uh, a, a stadium uh, as a next phase. And so these facilities... Who manage the facilities? That's a good question. I will argue for a PPP. I will argue for a, a public-private partnership. I wouldn't want it to be put, uh, to be run by a state institution. But mm. I will, so that you can have sustainability. So, so there'll be intelligent generated yes, funds yes, to keep it running. Yes. It can be self-sustaining. The commercial aspect must be looked at properly. Yeah. And uh, uh, in addition to that, I told you about uh, one of our mandates. It's to transfer the facilities into sports uh, for development. Mm -hmm. It's not sports, but sport for development. Okay. So that is going to be a unique university. And oh, so it's a new university? Yeah, it's a unique university. Give it to Legon. Why no, do you have to have no, a new university? No, 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 no. 
This we is give you we give you a whole stadium. No, but they've been given and look. We give you a whole stadium, no, man. No, no, it's my alma mater, and you can I can tell you, you know, that University of Ghana has benefited more than any institution with regard to. And we're also given a lot more than any institution. So well, you are building a new university. Yes. About Teman. Not. We are transforming the facilities into a university of sport for development. Really? Facilities are there. You know, we, we, have, uh, we have an admin block. Uh, we have uh, facilities that can be easily turned into investment. We, we even have a, a legacy subcommittee that is laid the, the foundation for the right. investment to be established. So is NISA coming on this year? Definitely, NISA has to come on. Um, I would like to appeal to the Ghana Education Service, mm. to especially the Director General, Mr. Yeah. Kansa, to, um, to talk to his PE department. To release the students, you know, to just give her the mandate to go out because he had already given her the first mandate. We written to him and he has approved it, okay. and because we we postponed it, we are waiting for them to give it. So this will be like May. It will be like May, in April, May, April, May, April, to, May, April, May, April, for NISAC. It will definitely have to come on because we have already spent money. We give the student preparation grants. That so they are already we, getting ready. They, they are already getting ready. And this will be a Lego. And yes, it will still be a yeah. Lego. The excitement is huge. Wow. We can't let this euphoria. So it means Lego will become a center for maybe super. Zonals yeah. and things like this, and not not only Africa or Ghanaian sports. So even Ghanaian other countries will come and do. Other countries will come and will come and compete because the of the facilities. The tracks is fast track. So if you want your athletes to be ready, to be ready bring them here. Yeah. Bring them here. Yeah. If you want to qualify for the Olympic yes. Games, you bring come them here. Bring them and here. then he mentioned that they've got an invitation uh, from other countries. I think. Uh, um, we didn't. We failed to mention cricket. You should visit the Ashwantai Cricket as well. Mention of your committee members. We are run out of time. Okay. Your committee members. Well, my good self. You are and the chairperson. Yes. Then, then Dr. Iman Olusu as the mm -hmm. chief operating officer. Yeah. Rex Bobby as Rex the deputy chief operating officer. Dan Kwekwe Abua. Ahmed Osman Halid okay. Gubrua. Mm -hmm. Then Eva Ochri. Yeah. Dr. Junfo Williams. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Ben Lulu Mensah. Yeah. And Joyce Dacha. The One original LOC nine. members. And yes. there were three more. Uh, we had Samson Dean brought on board mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, uh, <coughs> during the tenure of uh, the new minister, the new minister Yusuf. Uh -huh. And then we have Casey Manti also coming on board. And then Yaosechi. Uh, uh, yeah. No, Yaosechi is has, different. Yes, he has the last person. Ibrahim Sowajay also you. as a link from uh, well the House. Well done. Dr. Kukufu Sasari, well you. done. And Baba Fuseni, well done. Evan Siamma, well done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for showing up and for making Ghana proud. I'm sure we will do better at the next tournament. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.